Hello and welcome back to Stranded Deep. Welcome back to Pacific Paradise and welcome back to this island we find ourselves on. Last time we were, well, we were exploring the Pacific Ocean, going from island to island, and just gathering crates. We had to come back home because, well, we filled up the raft. So first things first, I hope everyone's keeping well. I hope the weather's good with you guys because it's been very wet here. We've had quite a few storms and... Well, it would be nice to have some sunny weather, but anyway, going back to the game, we have a house, and the house is pretty good. It has technically three floors, the lower floor with the crafting stations, the upper floor with the bed, and a, so a few bits of furniture, tables and chairs and things, and then we have a tower up on the roof. If you're joining us for the first time, this is a custom island, this is on the PC version of the game. We also have a landing pad and we have the great white bar and grill and addressing the aeroplane in the room. Yes, there is an aeroplane up in the trees, but because I was asked to go exploring, we're going to do that if you want to see, if you want to see more building, because I do have other things I need to build on the island. Well, I mean, say in the comments. Anyway, we're going to jump off here and not chin ourselves on the way down. Ah, contrails. Oh, I don't see the aeroplane, but I see the contrails from them. Yes, that's not a mod in the game. The the uh, There are aeroplanes that do fly over at very high altitude. So, last time we came back because this thing was completely loaded. And there was no space for any more stuff. So what I've done is I've ripped everything off. And we just have aloe salve. We have some fuel, which I think... Oh, then that's actually full all the way up. That one's not. So that's not so much of a problem. I think we also have a bit of leather so we can make new spears out in the field. We have one of three. Ooh, we are kind of running low on spears. We have some food, we have some rocks, we have a bit of a coconut going on. So I think what we should do is probably just straight up peace out. And in fact, that's what I'm going to do. Uh, food and water situation is not a problem. It's 7.51 in the morning. It is the 18th of May and the UV is none because we are standing. Well, we are standing in the shadow of the house, which most people probably don't get. They're probably their houses aren't 30 feet off the deck, but also it's early in the morning, so UV won't affect us just yet. So what I'm going to do is pick up the... Oh, actually put down that anchor. I say pick up the anchor, but no, we dropped this one at the end of the last episode. So, and yes, all of the containers are now on the key side. Good. Uh, what I'm going to do is lift that up and get on that. And then probably, I think we're going to head off to the Blue Hole Island. But instead of landing on that island, because so that's another custom island. There's a custom island there, custom island there, custom island there. And so far we've got four custom islands in the world, which is not bad going. They are available if you happen to be on the PC version of the game for download in the video description. So check there. There are zip files with instructions within them. Blue Hole is particularly terrifying. There's a big old hole in the middle of the island and you can go swim down very deep. What I was thinking is, I don't think we've been to this quadrant of the map. So, in this world we call home... I think we're very close to the edge. Yeah, I think we're very close to the edge of the world. So I'm going to head in this direction because I can kind of see an island ahead of us. On the PC version of the game, there are 46 island tiles. There are three boss monster tiles and there is one aircraft carrier, which is the way out of the game if you want to complete the game. And also, also, oh, I can't, I can't check my inventory from here, but I have the Magalite style torch, which is... There's another island over there, 141 days survived. The Maglite style torch is the New Game Plus torch. So if you want the New Game Plus rubber duck, the New Game Plus torch, or flashlight if you're American, um, and the carbon fiber spear gun, carbon fiber spears, you will need to complete the game at least once and then on a new game a new playthrough the game will say do you want to use the starting crates and you say yes please and you'll get the white and yellow starting crates so there's an island there and i don't know if uh we must have been to that island i think that's the one with the great white shark on it and i don't think we've been to this island so we're exploring once more and it makes me feel okay how are we going to do this? How do I want to do this? I want to keep the... I want to keep W held down. Q 
keep going forward. Oh, I was going to land there, but there's a wreck there just underneath the water, so I'm glad we didn't do that. Uh, I am just going to curve around this wreck and slam us up onto the beach. Oh, there are rocks. Boop. All right, cool. Get off. Do a shark check. Shark check. Hmm. We don't have three spears. Oh, there is a shark, but we only have three spears. That's not enough. Where are all my other spears? That's an excellent question. A question for the ages. Well, there's four. Hmm. That ain't right. Uh. Okay, well, we got four spears and a Tigor. Tigor, hello. I have come to uh, poke you gently. While the Skyrim music plays. I do like the Skyrim music. It's very good. Let's get some air because we can't breathe liquids. This is not LCL. Hello. He's just like, whoa, he's cruising. Oh, he is trying to get to us, that's why. When the shark tries to get to a player, if it can't get to it, it moves incredibly quickly. Let's get some air. Where is he? I don't want him to boop. Whoa, he, buddy. Oh, he is moving exceptionally fast for a Tigor. Well, for any shark. Can you come back? He's got three spears in him. Uh, well, he's dead now. So we got the four refined spears, which is good for a regular shark. A great white is going to require a few more. I think six. If your physical skill is fully cranked. Also, this is the island's probably going to have some monsters on it. Hmm. Okay, fine. Well, we will take these off. There we go. I'm sorry, buddy. I had to do it. It's okay. I wanted to go. I wanted to go sunbathing anyway. All right. Cool. Um. Right. There are gonna be snakes on there. Ooh, I don't like snakes. I had a little stutter there. Yeah, it's kind of late in the day, and I'm a little tired. I've done a full day, full day of work. So the difference between this channel and other channels, um, this channel is not really a YouTube channel. It's more a hobby channel. So there's nothing. Oh, yes, there is. I'm swimming on top of it. I was like, there's nothing here. Yes, compared to Yogscast or Game Grumps or pretty much anyone else. It's just, just a hobby. It's just, just dobby. Go to work, come home, and then uh, play a little bit of Stranded Deep. Or, oh, there we go. Mm, oh, more lashings, leather. A little, little bit of leather going on there. Also, I'm noticing these particular wrecks are not having the container near the mast. It's a weird one. What's going on there? Right, okay, cool. Oh, I know what I forgot to do. I forgot to fill my water bottles. I have five, uh, six water. Mm, that's going to be a problem. We might actually, yeah, have an issue. There's a couple of crabs down there. Crabs, famously, um, kind of blind from the back. Hey, buddy. Hey, my dude. Hmm. I wonder how far around we can get before he actually notices that we're here. Uh, about 180. Oh, yep, yeah, 180. Exactly 180. How? Walking backwards into the sea is a bad idea. The SPF is now high, so the UV is uh, an issue. He's just, he's booking around. In fact, he's booking so hard, he's just running away. He's like, oh, I've given you a nibble on your toes. Your toes have been nibbled on, and now I'm going to run away like a creepy person. Um, there's another one there, but they can't get into the water because they can't cross the water mesh. The, the like, tessellating water mesh. Uh, I think, technically, we should be okay. Maybe, question mark. Boop. All right, I'll grab you, because it uh, seems pretty legit. Got some old planks, neat. Anything else down here? No. Alright, Bond. Top deck. Okay. We will... Whoop. I do not like that. Get out of the water. Hmm, okay. You afraid of water? Yeah, I'm afraid of water. 
Well, not water, but deep water, deep dark water. And it gets even worse if things are swimming in it, and even even worse if there's like machines in it. Don't like any of that. Ah, uh, there's an island over there. Island there. If I put that to the edge of the screen, okay, there's an island over there, an island over there. I think these two islands then are the edge of the map. The very edge of the map, the very edge of the world. In a world. I was like, what is that? It's a giant rock. That is a giant rock. Whoa. All right. Uh, let's bloosh. Trying to get poisoned by anything. Yeah, that's a giant cluster of rocks, even. Uh, purple poison boy. They don't move, but if you're away from an island and then come back, what can happen is, because they are essentially on the same layer as the coral, if the coral has to be redrawn, then all the purple starfish also get moved around, which gives them the appearance of moving. But they're not moving. They're just kind of doing their own thing. Like being part of the scenery, a poisonous part of the scenery. I don't see no more sharks. It's a double negative. I know. I said it with my mouth. Um. Okay, what is the time of day? 1.30. I don't see anything out there. I said I don't see too much going on in front of that boat. Don't like the way the music stopped though. Uh, purple poison boy in the water. Alright. Is there... Uh, there is a container there. Look left, look right. You know the shark spawn behind you, don't you? Yes, I do. But I am not going to stop. I'm going to book out of there. Oh, Toidle. Okay, good. So, I'll drop this down. Let's, uh, drop that down. What do we got? To the beans. Okay, what else? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, if I take that out, pick up the cloth from here and here, which used to be a tarp, but is no longer. Keep myself facing the island so we don't actually get jumped by a pig. Okay, is that good? Yep, and then we can put the planks and stuff in these two. Well, okay, cool. There we go. Grab some rocks, rocky rocks. One, two, three, four. There's a lot of rocks. Five. Okay. We could probably start making some more spears because I think we're going to need to do that. But what I also want to do is kind of book off this island and get to a different island before nightfall. It is uh, half two in the afternoon. It's good. We have plenty of stamina still. Mm, I want to grab that, but I don't want to get snaked. What? The snakes, they come and they nibble your toes. Oh, getting bitten by a snake seems particularly unpleasant because they got really sharp teeth. Really? Yeah, like super sharp. Um, okay, put that in there. Right, okay, so this got bumped. Oh yeah, got bumped when we start. Oh, I got probably bumped by one of these guys. Could you not? I'm going to just drag this sideways a little bit. Get us back into the water. Aim at that island over there. Uh, jump up. And then... Oh, wait. No, got to go sideways a bit. And there we go. A little sideways, using the sideways sails. That's why we have the sideways sails, so we can strafe sideways. There is a boat ahead of us. Oh. Nope. Go sideways. Better sideways, more motion. Okay, that's better. We were just going to hit that wreck. With the mast that's just kind of... Oh, there's a rock there. What is going on? I just I saw it out of the corner of my eye. I was like, oh, there's a rock. Can we get over on a wave? Yeah, there... Oh my gosh. There are so many rocks and they've just turned us around. I want to get over there. I got full full starboard rudder and it's not working. Oh bum. Oh oh bottoms. That's not good. 
There really isn't. I just wanted to get to the little island. Seems like a nice place to spend the night. Uh, okay. Cool. Well, we are now heading for, right? We can just put the little island in between all of the shelves and head in that direction. It's nice. It's pleasant. Uh, what have we got going on? There's an island over there and an island on the horizon. It seems to be... I don't know if there's rocks or stuff out there. That seems like a weird... What is going on over there? I, I'm going to have to land and actually see what's... Oh, is that a container ship? Oh. They always put them in that deep, deep ocean. Ah, more red panels. Intr That's quite far out as well. In the water. That's very strange. How very peculiar. Okay. Uh, we'll hold starboard and then slam. That did not do what I thought it was going to do. I think we slam into the rocks and spin us around, but it didn't. Right, so the locals are going to be a bit of a problem. Let's whip out our... Hmm. Hey, buddy, why don't you throw a, throw a spear at it? Oh, I would. Excellent idea. But uh, with crabs, your spear will break on the shell. Because they're a chitinous, chitinous creature. Ow! Ow! No, please stop. Where did he go? Where did the body of the crab go? I think he went up, but I don't know. That's very peculiar. How very strange. Okay, fine. Uh, yeah, I'm... I'm I'll accept it as a thing. We got a bed somewhere. I've got some meat. Large smoked fish meat. Do we need to eat? Not really. We did need to do a little bit of a drink. What we're going to have to do though. What we're going to have to do is uh, drink a little coconut. Have a little coconut milk. Hmm. Let's do a little jump. Let's grab a coconut. Okay, good. Well, we can, we can get two drinks in. I think on the PC version you can only drink coconut milk once a day. I think we tried it and ended up pooping everywhere. So I think on the console version you can do a little bit more. Somebody was saying you can drink on the console version once an hour or something. That, I don't think that mechanism exists here. So we're just gonna drink the coconut milk and then we'll whip out the chocolate. Oh, oh it's delicious chocolate. Okay, cool. There's another crab over there and he is... Why are we vibrating? I uh, know our getaway sticks are broken, but that's very strange. Uh, 1725, 1726. We have less than an hour of daylight left. So we're going to put that on the beach. I'm going to go and I'm going to go and take out that crab. And I don't mean on a dinner date. I mean I'm going to whack it with an axe until it stops moving. And then nobody's going to call Greenpeace. Ow, my legs. How are you more dangerous than the... How are you more dangerous than the shark? That's impressive and also painful. Ooh, that's painful. Okay, uh, can we, as the shadows creep across the island, can we whack this down? The, uh, oh, grab, grab, grab you. Oh yeah, shadows from the other island as the sun goes down on what was a beautiful day in paradise. It was, but what do is do a little chippity chop here and here, bonk and bonk. Okay, cool. So what we're going to do is create a fire and then make our pit and then two, three, and four. Uh, create some kindling, light fire. That's better. And then just check, now that we have some light, uh, what does it take? It's three sticks and one lashing now. Oh, oh, I got one stick. Okay, there it is. One stick and a lashing. Lashings and lashings of what? What are you? Uh, so we're gonna need to go dark temporarily, give that a good whack and turn the light back on. Okay, uh, just create lashing from stuff on ground. Stick, okay, cool. 
What are you doing, Bond? I'm making a fire pit on a desert island, Money Penny. What? Why are you talking like that? I've been listening to so many James Bond podcasts. It's insane. Uh, the From Rewatch With Love podcast specifically with Matt Wiggins and Graham Stark. So there you go. That's what I've been doing. Uh, and it's all available on YouTube. Would definitely give it a watch. So we're going to use knife on big crab. Can't use it on other crab because apparently they just hit low orbit, which is fine. People on the International Space Station will enjoy that. One on there, one on there. Two bits of meat. That'll be ready for the morning. May as well use the body of the fallen, I guess. Consume, get nourishment from the fallen foes. Why are you talking like that? I don't know. Uh, we'll just do a save and a sleep. Save and a sleep. There we wake up and dinner is still... I think dinner's done actually, or breakfast's done. So we grab the meat, check the food and water situation. It is not great. We've got a bit of damage. Nom 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 nom. In fact we can check that. Cooked medium crab meat. I'm going to eat it anyway because we don't need the second one. What is going on out there? That was a dorsal fin. That is a dorsal fin and a tail fin. That's a shark, but I don't know what shark. I'm going to say maybe a whale shark. But the trouble is, it's uh, 6.29 in the morning. The water is going to be so dark, we're not going to be able to see what's going on down there. Um, so what we'll do instead is... Deal with water situation. Uh, where is water? There we are. There it is. There we go. Okay, that's kind of. Well, I'll do. I'll do one more. Uh, uh, there we go. And I'm not too worried about water because I still have uh, tins of beans, life life raft rations on the boat. So what we're gonna do is just make some spears. Spears? What are you doing? Well, yeah, just getting some spears. Uh, one, two, three, and four. Okay, cool. And since we got four of those, we're going to need four rocks. We got one of three. That's not so much of a problem. We'll grab another rock from here. Boop. Right, got that. And then we'll go back to the raft because we're going to need leather. How do you get leather? Ah, that's a very good question. You kill a shark, drag its body up onto the shore, whip out your knife, hold E or interact on the body of the shark. It will give you rawhide. You take your rawhide and you build a tanning rack, which is in uh, sort of down the bottom somewhere. Tanning rack, build a tanning rack, stand in front of the tanning rack with rawhide, hold interact or E. And then you will... Well, that's definitely a whale shark. Uh, and then you will create leather. Or you can just find it in chests. Like, leather is one of the things that is the least difficult thing to make. And yet, well, you, you, do, you, have, you do have to kill a shark for it. But yet, people really don't know how to make it. So, I'm going to make some spears. Uh, so we'll quick craft a crude spear. And another one, and another one, and another one, and then stone tools, one, two, three, and four. And because we have the leather, we can also turn those crude spears into refined spears. Excellent. So now we have one of four, one of four. We have eight refined spears, which is enough to kill us a great white. Oh, I'm going to leave that on the beach for the time being. Boop. Right, okay. Time of day is 7.55. Still pretty dark. Oh, okay, got it. You just nailed a seagull. Yeah, we might be might be here for a while. Hey, there we go. I'm, if you miss it and hit the rock, what will happen is uh, your spear will just annihilate itself. So if a spear hits the sand, it'll dig into the sand. If it hits the rock, it'll just explode and you will not have your spear anymore. It's going to be fun, like swimming out to try and find, uh, where has it gone? To find the whale shark is like, it seems like a good, 
good time. But then there's also going to be Tigors and other things out there. So she won't be alone. Right. Okay, fine. Oh, there it is. Wow, well, that's lunch, I guess. The dead crab from earlier. Oh, can you do an English accent? Well, me. Can I do an English accent? Um, I don't know. I think my American accent's pretty good. We've done that before. An English accent. Uh, let me think about that one. How does that go? Um, <clears throat> apples and pears, apples and pears. Oh, right, Mary Poppins. Oh, we're popping up your chimney to clean your uh, pipes. Hmm, I can't remember Mary Poppins. It's been a while since I watched it. Oh, knees up, Mother Brown. How's your father? Yeah, I think my English accent's pretty good. Right, I'm just going to have a little look out here. Uh, it might be worth just sort of slowing down, 142 days survived, and just getting our stamina back up in case we need to book. What do you mean book? I mean get out of there. Uh, yeah, people learning English. If English is not your first language, we do use a lot of metaphors. So, ah, oh, that's the container, the little holder thing that I was talking about that doesn't seem to... Oh, it's got a, got a lantern in it, a torch in it. She seems to have gone, so that's kind of worrying. And it's worrying because if a deep water shark comes to an island like this, and then they suddenly vanish, another style of deep water shark may appear, like a great white or a goblin? Hmm... But I don't see her. All right, fine. Fine. What's a metaphor? I mean, it's measuring stuff. Uh, yeah. Well, I was weird. She was swimming around out there early. That was definitely the whale shark. And then she disappeared. Hmm. Okay, there's never anything in the red containers, but I'm going to go out there and have a little look. Anyway, because... Oh, could there be a storm today? Would that cause it? So yeah, there's never never anything in here. These things are simply here so you can knock them down. This has got one, two... This has got three panels on the side. This wasn't giant. I didn't... I wasn't aware that it could get this big. Oh. Yeah, that is a really big container. Fascinate. Okay, yeah. I, I'm down. That would be several trips to take all that home. And it's a long old journey from here to home. Right, what else have we got? Uh, we have... Uh, we have that out there. Just do a slow, slow drive out towards it. Hmm. I'm pretty sure... Oh, jeez. Yeah, I just saw the butt end of a... Butt end of a hammerhead just... Yep, yeah, there it is. Hi. Donk. The fastest shark. Yes, he is pretty quick. Pretty nippy. Okay, well, what's in here? Ooh. Uh, that's two. It's got two barrels on them. Two barrels. He doesn't have a Scottish accent. No, he doesn't. I don't know what... I, well, he's got an American accent, of course. Uh, what are you talking about? It's from Jaws. They put, like, plastic barrels on Jaws. It's like, he won't stay down with two barrels on him. And then they put three barrels on him. And he goes down. So that's three... Can we get Shark to sort of come inland a bit? There we go. Little little twitch. Unfortunately, because we killed him just as the Shark music started, we have two options. We can either leave the game, or we can find another Shark and kill that. Because uh, if you kill the Shark music when the Shark music... Uh, if you kill the Shark before the Shark music properly kicks off, there's no trigger for it to stop playing. I gotta speak slower so my brain has more time to focus on the words. Let's 
probably one of my big problems. My mouth just can't keep up with my brain. Which, yeah. It's just one of those things. Anyway, I'm going to leave it there for the time being because this music is just going to get super annoying. So, uh, we've come to another couple of islands. We have some stuff we can do back on Home Island. We can expand the landing pad. We can build harbor areas and things. Or we can just keep going from island to island hoping that each hop, well, the next hop is a hop home. But uh, if you like this, definitely leave a little like. Leave a, leave a subscribe if you've got to this point in the video and haven't subscribed. If you want notifications, dingle the bingle. If you don't want notifications, don't click the bell. If you want to say, eh, hey, do a bit more exploring or do a bit more building, yep, use your voice. You have it. Put it down in the comments and I'll tell you what. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>